Imagine it's Saturday morning. You wake up bright and early, ready to get the day started and to find out what adventure you can get into. Your very first stop is the barber shop. You're greeted with laughs, handshakes, head nods, and maybe some criticism on how young folks dress these days. The routine sports conversations. Will the Lions win the Super Bowl this year? Will the Pistons win another championship in our lifetime? Yeah, you know those conversations that get so high energy that all you can do is laugh. When the pandemic started, I was unsure when I would have those experiences again. A lot of those small businesses like barbershops, they're struggling, you know, because you can't cut hair. I miss the raw conversation, the bluntness the older guys in the shop possess. I miss having that safe space. You gonna get that shot, G? Like for real? You gonna get that? They like, asking me, right. um, and I told them I was like, man, yes. <laughs> but be, but be, but why? So for me, like I lost a lot of people. I lost 27 people in my life to, to the virus, and, and for me, it was like, um, I don't know what happened if I got it. I want y'all to feel comfortable around me, and I want to feel comfortable around y'all. So this is a way that we can do that. Just because you're in your 20s and you might be healthy, that doesn't mean that you're exempt from this virus. The virus. Is not, does not discriminate. Now, we're back, and everyone in the shop is vaccinated. The topics of the shop have been solely about the pandemic and how we need to get more of the younger generation vaccinated as well. As we come back, you know, we got to think about, you know, what we can do to, to, to make that comeback real. And, and um, you know, for me, it's just like the, the most important piece of that is people actually getting vaccinated, man. Right. You want to get into an accident with the with your seatbelt on, or do you want to get into an accident with your uh, seatbelt off? And so, just really trying to bring it down in terms that are really digestible for folks, because I think it's easy to talk about data. It's really easy to point to it uh, that, but I think we really have to meet uh, people where they are. I know perfectly healthy people that died. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I, right, but I don't know anybody with vaccinated. I mean, and it's real because the vaccine is so easy to get now. I mean, I went to the TCF center and, you know, drove through the garage and I was out within an hour. All those people are one conversation away from making that choice though. They all are. And I just think all of us from our different experiences, from our different perspectives, from our different roles that we play in the community, like I think it's our responsibility to have those conversations, to make sure they happen. <laughs> And you know they kept it real. But it's all coming from a genuine place. From brother to brother. 